Hi class, welcome back. I'm Dr. April Strom and we have yet another example of integration using U substitution to show you. In this particular example, we have now some trig functions and in particular, a trig function that is embedded into an exponential function. Okay, so let's see how to tackle this. So like in the last examples, you have to figure out what is the best U that you should pick. And like in the last examples, the strategy is pick the U that's the inside function. Well, the inside function here is going to be the inside function to the E to the what used to be an, a T or whatever power. And here what we notice is the sine T has been embedded into that exponential function. Thus, we have a composition. Even more so, I hope that you notice that this piece that's hanging out here, cosine T, happens to be coincidentally the derivative of sine t. Okay, so all of those little clues point to the fact that we should probably go ahead and pick our u to be sine t. And again, if you pick something other than sine t in the beginning, you might be able to make a little progress, but at some point you're gonna hit a wall and realize, hmm, maybe I should pick another u. So don't be afraid to do that. So we're gonna pick u as sine t, and uh, well, I'm gonna take the derivative of that. So like in my last couple of examples, we're gonna find the derivative of u, so that's notationally du, that will be equal to, now we're gonna take the derivative of sine t um, with respect to a t. So I see here, well, gosh, derivative of sine is cosine, so I have cosine t dt. Right, to remind us that in fact we were taking the derivative with respect to t. All right, what's really wonderful in this problem is I notice that I have an even exchange again between these expressions. I've got a cosine t dt in my problem. I have an exact cosine t dt here, and we know that that expression can be exchanged out for just a du. But this part, what do we do here? Well, we still have the E, we're left with that, no problem. We can tackle that. Sine T, however, we're gonna let temporarily be our U. So let's do all of those exchanges and see what we end up getting. So we have that this first problem is gonna be equal to the integral, still have our E. Exchange out sine T for what we said sine T should be, which is our U. And then the whole cosine T dt is simply gonna be du. And now we're back to the lovely problem of integrating an e to the u du here. We love, again, exponential integration and derivatives, by the way, because when I realize all I have is an exponential, I can say the integral of e to the u, well, that's just e to the u. A reminder again of a couple of things, because I don't have the boundaries here of the integral, I just say, plus C to account for that. That's kind of the way we handle those things. And I cannot leave my answer with U's left in it. I need to exchange back in what U was um, equal to, sine T. So now we have this is gonna be E to the sine T, and then of course, plus C. And then now that is our final answer for the integral of E to the sine T cosine T dT, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed that example. Next time we're gonna look at another example, but a little bit more complicated to handle the U substitution. And please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our videos. Thanks.